Hi guys, this is Rifle Chaos with my first commentary in a long time. So please, please forgive, forgive me if I mess up along the way. <clears throat> so first you're going to want to load up Sand Trap. It doesn't have to be this map, but I just find that it works best for what we're about to do. First off, you want to go around, find all of the fusion cores, fusion coils, and plasma batteries, and delete them off the map. There's a few. Now, <clears throat> while I was recording this, I was doing it in theater, so it doesn't show the menus. But I fixed that in the next clip, so I'll explain a little more what I have to do to get things to work properly. First, you're going to want to probably set up your Warthog. <clears throat> it doesn't have to be uh, on a slant like that, but it can, depending on the way you set it up, it can give you a different ride. You're going to want to set up three antennas so that you can connect them across the gaps on the pillars here. It helps make things a little easier. Like I said, I was doing this in theater, so the in-game menus I was looking at when looking for items wasn't showing up. <coughs> so, you're going to want to get your explosives, like the fusion coils, and you're going to want to line them up around the antennas. To make this work properly, you're going to want to set them to respawn instantly. Uh, I can't really show you at the moment, but in a later clip I will because of the recording thing like I said before. Since the plasma batteries are so much bigger, I figured that I was just going to swap out a few with the <coughs> fusion coils instead since they can fit better behind the Warthog. And at this point, I'm changing the spawn so that they respawn instantly. And I found out that I was missing two, so I tried to find them. Works better if you have all of them. I'm going to delete that because I need it later for the wart or not the warthog, the mammoth. Oh my god, I can't even talk right. Elephant. <laughs> you don't need to use the sniper rifle, but I think it works better because it takes the oh jeez. Fast forward right through it so I went back and <laughs> started over again. Because of the uh, box I used, it sent me a little low, so I crashed into the other base and blew up. That's why uh, you might want to experiment with it a little bit before you get too far into it. At this point, I deleted the crate and decided just to put the Warthog on top of the fusion coils, just to see what effect that would have. Well, now that that's out of the way, we're going to head over to the elephant. So, I moved all of the fusion coils and plasma batteries that were on top of the structure into the back of the elephant. And here on the menu, you can see how I'm changing it to respawn instantly. You need this for the elephant glitch to work. I also threw a few blitz cans in there. They're not as explosive as the fusion coils and the plasma batteries, but they're... A little explosive. They help a bit. And now we're going to run into our first issue. Sometimes this happens. <coughs> it just, the elephant doesn't want to get off the ground, so you have to overload the map, which I'm going to show you how to do in a moment. Going to need trip mines for this part.
You're going to want to set them to respawn instantly, just like with the fusion coils and plasma batteries in the elephant. I forgot to trip mine over here, so I went back to get it real quick. And since I was recording this while I was playing the game, I can't really fast forward it, so I'm gonna have to sit for a minute. Once you have the chirp mines in a pile and you have them set to respawn instantly, just start tossing them. Now, while you're doing this, you're going to see some weird things happening in the background. So just keep your eyes open. Depending on where you do it, you might see objects falling from the sky, or you might see a few stranger things like you'll see in this video. Almost there. And there's one of the little glitches you might see. The elephant just completely disappeared. And it's back. And gone. We are. Now that the trip mines are detonated, the map is overloaded. So the elephant should fly now. Just toss a frag grenade in, grab the turret, and hold on. <laughs> that didn't last long. Sometimes that will happen. <coughs> the elephant will not explode properly and it'll just fall back to the ground and you can't really get it back up. So you have to overload the map again, so I just skipped through that process. So you don't have to sit and watch me do it all over again. Now I'm just going to clean up these plasma batteries so that they stay in the elephant to help with the explosions. Every bit counts. Took a second to get off the ground and it killed me, but it's in the air. Now, if you set it to so that the players are invulnerable, you might have been able to hold on longer, but eventually it will knock you off. I'm just trying to keep it going by flipping it and trying to get the explosions to keep going, but... For some reason, I was just having an off day. Usually, it will stay in the air forever, but two times in a row, it just wouldn't work for me. So, that was my little guide. I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.